Board. David Cross is an architect from the Sky House Company and he's got a new idea and his take, he thinks, of the back-to-back could be the answer. David, exactly what is a Sky House? Uh, thanks, Danny. Uh, a Sky House is basically a back-to-back house. We've worked on this concept with our architects, my architect's practice called Coder in Sheffield, for about nine years, believe it or not. So we were working on projects in Sheffield City Centre where we were looking at old historic maps and we saw acres and acres of land with density of housing, of back-to-back housing. We thought, what a great idea this would be to bring it back. So the Sky House is effectively a two-bedroom house with a roof on the garden, a small patio on the ground floor, open plan living, huge windows, contemporary design, beautiful design, two double bedrooms, two bathrooms and a fantastic house for a first-time buyer or a young family. Now, some people might think that a back-to-back is a terrace, but it's actually two houses sharing the same space, isn't it? Well, you've got a house facing forward, you've got a house at the side, another house at the side and a house behind, so all you really have is one external wall. And that was one of the major problems that we had when we started reimagining this idea. So we trialled the, uh, the the house types and we must have gone through 20 different versions with Sheffield City Council running dummy plan applications saying, what if we did this, what if we did that? And we worked really closely with them to come up with a solution, which took about four years, believe it or not. And it does it mean that you can squeeze more houses on a plot? Is that the idea? It is, but when you say squeeze, it sounds like it's a bad thing. But what we call it is almost, well, we describe it as sensitive density. So we do, we get more houses per acre. So if you imagine the traditional national house builder estate, you've got two parking spaces, a 10 metre back garden, 50 square metre garden and a a certain size house. They get between 15 and 25 houses an acre. We get somewhere between 40 and 60 houses an acre. Wow, that is a big change, David. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us this evening. And I do know that the first of those houses are going to start being built in Rotherham in the new year and the first will be available to buy from the summer. We'll have to wait and see what comes out of Philip Hammond's budget for the rest.